Welcome to the series of videos on Pipe Network Productivity Tools for AutoCAD Civil 3D. In this video, we'll discuss the Swap Multiple Parts command. This command utilizes the standard selection options of the Pipe Network Productivity Tools, so be sure to visit that video to understand how the standard selection options work. Swap Multiple Parts was created to be able to select multiple pipes and multiple structures at the same time and quickly and efficiently swap out their part definitions within your drawings. Upon running the command, you can choose your network with the three different modes that we discussed. I'm just going to choose network here. And I'm not going to filter the selection, but it does work with that. We'll click no here. And here's the dialog box. It shows you your selection, the number of structures in your selection, the number of pipes. And then you have two tabs. You have the pipes tab and the structures tab. So you could go through and switch out all of your pipes in your collection at one time. So if I want to switch them to 12 inch, I can hit swap. And it's going to go ahead and, and make that swap on those parts. And it keeps the dialog open and your selection remains the same. Here at this point. So if you messed up, you could swap that out. Uh, I wanted to switch it to 4 inch PVC instead. Run it again, it'll switch those out for you. Now it's only swapping the tab that's current. So we do have structures in our selection as well. So we can switch to the structures tab and we can sw swap out those structures right now at the same time. And one other thing it does is the, the maintain descriptions option here. Some of us out there in the civil 3D world like to label our parts in such a way that we can plug in the information about the object within the description. And this gives us more flexibility in the civil 3D labels to type in what you want and have it read out in a label. So for instance, if I type in here on this description, do not delete, and select OK, and I run the civil 3D swap part command and switch this out to a different structure type, and then go back to my structure properties, you'll see that the structure description was revised back to the part description. We don't want that to happen. We want to be able to keep that intact. So if I rerun this, do not delete. And then we run swap multiple parts. And here I'm just going to select the multiple mode in just this one structure. If I select maintain description and I choose a different type of structure and swap, check my structure properties, it maintains that description that you had put in there. So that's a great uh, little feature there. And that's the basics of swap multiple parts. Thanks for watching. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions, and be sure to check out our other apps on the Autodesk Exchange Store.